Hey guys, so welcome to your um, past life reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for June 2022. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements, even your notes. So we're going to take a look to see what happened to you in a past life and how it affects you in your current life. And then we will see uh, what you need to uh, learn from it, what you t what else you need to know. Uh, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, this message didn't resonate with you. Take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're look looking for a reading that's specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, also, these messages are not really meant, be, meant to be cross-watched, flipped, twisted, or reversed. Uh, these are for the Capricorn people that are currently on a spiritual path, uh, a path of healing, a path of personal growth and spiritual growth, okay? So um, let's get started, Capricorn. We're gonna, start, we're gonna start with some Oracle messages, okay? What do we have for Capricorn regarding the past life here? What happened uh, in uh, Capricorn's past life? What happened in Capricorn's past life? Okay, we have karmic relationship. We have communal living. Uh, so what I'm getting here is that with communal living, travel, phobias, and karmic relationships, I feel like you dealt with someone here or that you could be de currently dealing with someone where someone here is scared to commit and they feel like this person leaves you, okay? Could be vice versa, both, yeah. But communal living could be an indication that someone here sacrificed themselves a lot for other people. Yeah, maybe someone here is making sacrifices that they shouldn't be making with karmic relationship here. So, you know, karmic relationships, you know, I feel like you know, maybe you guys have met multiple lifetimes here, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have here. So I feel like someone here has had, maybe just not in karmic relationships, but someone here has great difficulty in, you know, romantic relationships. You know, sometimes a karmic relationship, I feel like it could be with anybody. It doesn't have to be romantic. Let's see what else we have here for you, Capricorn. We have Valdon roots, respect, survival, liberation, and freedom. So I feel like a lot of you guys have had childhood traumas here, okay, with this card. And I feel like you, you guys are trying to break free of that. Now, this is interesting because I feel like a lot of you guys might fear the unknown. Maybe that's where the phobia comes from. Fear of taking a chance, fear of traveling, okay? Fear of change. So I feel like you guys, you know, maybe you guys are a creature of habit or that you guys just don't like a lot of change. And when that change happens, I feel like someone here freaks out. And this could apply to the karmic relationships because, you know, they could be very up and down. Opening circle, protection, ritual, lessons, simplicity. So I feel like your guides, maybe your ancestors, maybe your uh, past life is teaching you to maybe sit down and reassess and perhaps meditate on this. Well, obviously the energy work needs to be done. The healing work needs to be done here too. What else do we have here? You know, I feel like someone here is really scared to show themselves truly, their true selves to people because of the phobias, you know? You know, I feel like maybe in the past life, you moved around so much that, you know, maybe in this life you got sick of it or that there is a fear of change because there was so much change in the past life. We have White Witch, Be the Light. Some of you guys might be witches. Some of you guys might have a strong connection to the owl, okay? So 
that's like knowledge and wisdom. That's connecting to the elements here. I mean, look at all the greens here. Look at all the nature on this uh, person in this card. So a lot of you guys are connected to nature. So a lot of you guys have spiritual practices here, uh, you know, in regard to, you know, grounding here, using the elements in there around you. Some of you guys might be serious here too. So I, I feel like some of you guys have, uh, uh, some of you guys have uh, the gift of foresight. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Capricorn regarding their past life? What else do we have here for Capricorn regarding their past life? June 2022. We have the Six of Wands here. Okay. With the Four of Wands. Could be dealing with. Can a card make it be Twin Flame? I don't think it can. We have twin flame energy here. Six plus four is 10. So, so when it comes to relationships, when it comes to get into, into relationships or just relationships in general, I feel like there's like a very heavy weight on you. Yeah, so I feel like in a way, I feel like some, like some guys might struggle with relationships. Like I feel like someone here feels like it's a burden. Okay, so I feel like there's a lack of peace, a lack of stability and happiness here, balance. What else do we have here? Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This is interesting. So a lot of you guys, I'm feeling like a lot of you guys spend a lot of time by yourself or alone or something like that. And I feel like some, a lot of you guys don't really mind that as of right now. Uh, perhaps this was like this in the past life, but I feel like a lot of you guys like to spend time by yourself. A lot of you guys like to be away from people. Uh, I feel like this is how you find your peace. This is how you get grounded. So I feel like a lot of you guys need a lot of alone time. Tell me about this. Uh, tell me more. We have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. You see, I feel like someone here has a lot of trauma here. I feel like, you know, you know for some of you guys... I feel like a lot of you guys spend a lot of time looking at it. No, ruminating about it. But not really doing much about it, though. Yeah. Because like when I see the Seven Pentacles, this is an indication that, you know, something is happening really slow here or that nothing is happening. Someone here feels like they might be wasting their time. Tell me about the Six of Wands here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? And then the Five of Wands. Four of Wands and the Sun and the Lovers. Okay. This could be currently going on right now in your life where you're dealing with a relationship where, is there, where, where there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of ego, there's a lack of balance here. There's just a lack of equilibrium. Yeah, because I keep getting like a seesaw effect. Yeah, I keep, I'm getting dizzy here too. So, you know, I feel like this, this is like really intense. The lovers, Gemini energy. So I feel like you've experienced this in multiple lifetimes. Yeah, I, I, and I feel like someone here might be sacrificing themselves or was sacrificing themselves for someone else. So maybe that's why you get like a lot of you guys might be spending time on your own now. Three of Cups, Three of Swords, yeah. This is so interesting. We have the Three of Cups, Three of Swords, and in this card, there are three people here. You know, when I do these types of readings, I try to get out of the love stuff, but it's coming up. But I feel like there are three people in particular, you, your person, and someone else, where you guys, in several different lifetimes, encounter each other. So it's you and your partner, and then the third person gets involved. Eight of Cups. We have the Sun, Leo energy. Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Nine of Wands. And the High Priestess. A, a, a lot of you guys do practice witchcraft. Or if you guys are not practicing right now, you guys might have like... 
an affinity for it or an attraction or that you guys are invested in it, reading books and stuff like that, you know, perhaps practicing lightly here. The Hermit and the High Priestess. I do feel like a lot of you guys are seers. I feel like you guys do have the gift of foresight or in a past life, you guys had a gift of foresight here. I, I keep hearing don't ignore your gift. So someone here might be ignoring their gift or someone here is scared. Something about the unknown here too. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like when it comes to this stuff, even though maybe they're, you do enjoy learning about it, I feel like you tread lightly with it. It's sort of like a thing, you, you know, I feel like someone here doesn't want to open a door that they can't close. So there is some sort of worry surrounding this. What else do we have here for Capricorn regarding their past life? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to learn from their past life? Okay, let's see. Oh. All right, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. This could be a present person that you're dealing with here. Maybe you're dealing with the fire sign. And then we have the tower, Aries, Energy, Scorpio, Energy. Um, some of you guys might have a strong connection with the peacock. Okay, um, you know, peacocks represent, you know, rebirth and stuff like that, you know, so I feel like maybe, you know, I feel like uh, for some of you guys, you know, you spend this lifetime maybe reinventing yourself over and over again, you know, and, and you could have done this in multiple lifetimes, uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. So this is someone new here. Um, the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. I think someone here needs to take care of their fears, whatever that may be. Could be a fear of commitment here, fear of getting hurt, fear of not knowing. This is interesting because if you guys have a past life as a seer or that you guys could foresight here, I feel like in a way that's creating more fears here too. There's a bit of an imbalance here. Yeah, there's a bit of an imbalance. We have judgment here, Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like someone's gift needs to be honored. Yeah, I feel like someone here is not honoring their gifts. This stems from fear. This fear is so scattered. It's like all over the place. I feel like someone here might have a huge laundry list of it. You know, maybe this fear stems from, you know, interpersonal connections with people, relationships. Maybe a fear of losing them. Maybe a fear of failure. We have the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. This is telling me that someone here is insecure. Fearing loss. I This red color here, this is telling me that someone's root chakra is blocked. So there is some sort of an abuse here uh, regarding someone's childhood here too. You know, because, you know, the root chakra represents your safety, represents your home, represents your family, represents your money. And I feel like you're trying to break free of that. So it's like an ongoing process for you. It's like kind of confusing to me, but you know, I, I, I kind of like see it coming together in a way. Like, I feel like even though it's confusing to me, it might be, you know, you might understand it better than I do because there's a back and forth. Yeah, this like, I, I, yeah, I could do it, but then I, you know, I, I'm a little, you know, I'm a little scared, but yeah, I could, you know, I could do it. So it's kind of like an ongoing process here. The King of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Tower, the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the uh, Emperor, King of Cups, the Star. I feel like your ancestors are trying to connect with you here too. This is interesting because I feel I feel like you're you are connecting with them. I feel like you see them. Yeah. I keep looking at this for some, for, for, this is a beautiful card. Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. 
This is interesting. I, I do feel like there is new love coming in your life, you know, regarding a relationship here. The thing is, I feel like it's gonna, it could possibly end here because, you know, I feel like there's still stuff that you still have to work through here, uh, Capricorn. I, I feel like you've been betrayed many times by people. You know, I feel like not just in relationships, but with your family. Yeah, because I feel like you, some of you guys did, did not grow up in a safe home. Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, Five of Pentacles, and the Strength card. You know, this, this represents like a therapist. This represents a spiritual advisor. So I feel like, you know, right now, maybe you're in this energy of trying to gain the courage to really seek out more help here. Because I feel like you're doing that on your own. That's really great. But uh, sometimes, you know, we do need that outside perspective, that neutral person to guide us, to help us. Yeah, but I, I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads from your guides and your ancestors trying to help you, trying to get you back on the right path here. Yeah. And I feel, I keep, I keep hearing this, like someone's gift, gifts need to be honored. Okay. So uh, Capricorn, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys.